All right, what's up guys? Finally got the bad boy in. It's as long as me, Mom. I've already uh, pulled all the tape off, save you time, because uh, I know you guys' uh, time is valuable, and you don't got time to sit here and watch me take off 15 freaking pounds of tape. So right off, we got our, uh, these are our hangers, not our hangers, but basically these go out of the side and down to the top to a bracket so that you can actually mount it over the tank like that. So hopefully you guys can see that. So there's our brackets. User manual. Got some hangers right here. To, uh, if you're going to use the hanging kit. <clears throat> it does have a remote. So that's nice. Um, here are the brackets that go over the tank. Edges. Power cord, and these are the little uh, parts that go inside of here to uh, screw in against the tank to keep the light nice and secure. So let's check out the light. Hopefully you guys can see that. Up top, four fans, so that's nice. One thing I really like about this, guys, if you have not noticed, Bam! One cord. One cord for this whole beast of a light. It's got three different settings. It's got a uh, LCD with an automatic timer. Four fans. One plug-in. So that's nice. Normally if this was like two black boxes and you got the old style black boxes, if you got the ones with the two cords, you got four cords right here. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but that's fire hazard to me, kind of. I mean, I know you got to have it. I had two cords on my old one, and I didn't even like that. And uh, it was just a small black box. But the thing is, is we need we already got 90 things plugged up. You know, if 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 your guys' tanks are like pretty much most of the people's in the world, we already have way too much stuff plugged in. Let's face it. So um, around water, all that electricity. Let's face it. Every, everybody should be able to knock down a uh, a plug or two. But. I'm not Smokey the Bear, so I'm not going to be uh, preaching. So let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, man, this beast is heavy. Wow. Oh. All right, guys. So there is the front. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Take this off, let you guys see this thing. Guys, I picked this thing up for a steal. 175 shipped, brand new, with the warranty, off of uh, eBay. Man, I just, my local fish store had one pretty much like it, and they wanted uh, 400 bucks, and that's what the light's worth. Of course, that's the brand name one. This is probably, this is kind of the equivalent of like the China black box version. But since mine fell into the water and I had to get one ASAP, I didn't have time to look around and get, you know, the perfect light that I needed or wanted. And uh, I'm actually investing in a couple different small businesses right now. So I'm just ooh, I'm strapped for cash right now. I just, I don't have any extra loot to be just blowing away. So I couldn't really go buy a four or $500 light. 175 shipped, bam! One plug covers my covers my uh, new four foot tank. It's gonna give me plenty of light, plenty of space to beast up all those frags. Uh, came with a mounting bracket. That was the other thing that sold me on this one. It has a mounting bracket to go over the tank. Like I said, see how it goes over the tank, guys. So I mean that'll just that'll mount right there. And be, I'll show you guys in the video of the tank. But, I mean, it's got that built in LCD with the uh, built in timer. Root. Inverted. There we go, turn it upside down for you guys for a sec. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is a, this was a steal. So, just a quick unboxing for you guys. Alright, guys. 
back on the tripod real quick. Put this bad boy up for you for one second so we can all get a look see together here. Oh, oh, I need a three prong. Damn you two prong. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this one just to keep it short for you guys. That was a quick unboxing of this. I uh, couldn't plug it in. I don't want to have to make you guys wait more. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go get it mounted on the tank and then I'll kick it on let you guys see it. All right, what's up guys? Got the light all hooked up. One thing I wasn't thinking about, and I'm a little worried about it now. I was really stoked about having this being mounted on the tank like this, okay? But this is a rimless tank, and this freaking light is so heavy, I feel like I might be pushing, pushing out on the glass a little, and I don't obviously want to do that at all come home with my tank freaking all over the floor and everything dead so i may have to make something because these adjust these adjust to like five or six feet or something total once you get both sides out so i'm pretty happy with the light so far besides that i, I totally wasn't thinking about that so that's not the light's fault but check it out we got this little uh remote so this is right now on the manual setting Sorry if this blinds you guys. Try to do it without blinding you. Basically, this is everything. Got some uh, blues, whites, green, and yellow. So that's a little of everything. That's what they consider basically the manual setting, which is just everything on. If you're wanting to basically dim it, you can click on the cloudy. Also pops on the little blue moon lights. Probably couldn't see that on camera. So here's just the moonlights only. Gives it a nice blue effect. I'm not sure if you'd run those all night or not. I mean, it's kind of nice, but the only problem with running those all night is now your your lights basically running all the time. All right, sorry about that, guys. New light took me a second to figure out how to get just all the blues on. So. That's what it looks like just without my uh, filter on. So let me put the filter on. Let's give you guys just a quick shot of the tank. Got some new Zos. A little aching. I love this uh, green leather right here. Freaking neon green trumpets. Nothing's really opened up yet too much since I literally had the light on like two minutes. And I've been flashing through everything might be a little too blue because it's still picking up kind of a funny shot. But once I get the tank moved around, I'll give you guys a nice little quick tour of some of the new stuff. I got a bunch of sweet mushrooms. A bunch of sweet zoas and pallies. So, alright guys. Well, I'll give you guys the, uh, the uh, grand tour. Once everything's uh, done and I get everything moved around, give you guys a quick shot. So, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe and Hulk. <sighs> smash. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Have a good day. Keep smiling. Stay happy. Stay positive. See you guys on the next one.